Hey guys, it's that time again. If you've been watching my videos lately, you'll probably be wondering, why doesn't he have like an Halloween episode, or why is he wearing the same clothes in all his videos? It's probably because I recorded them all in a lump sum, like, three to four weeks ago, so... And I scheduled them to come out on certain days and times so that, you know, I get ahead. I really don't want to fall behind. I have heard of other YouTubers who, um, would try to make a video and upload it, you know, the same day every week, and it got really hard for them, so they, you know, everyone just recommended record them all at the same time and just schedule them to come out ahead of time. So that's what I've been doing, um, and actually this video will probably come out uh, in a week, I want to say, so it's going to be a little late as well, but this isn't kind of an update on my life, what's been going on here in uh, Shimane for the past like four weeks that I've been here, five, four or five weeks now. I do want to tell you what I did for Halloween because it was really, really interesting. <laughs> I basically, I wasn't going to do anything, I was just going to stay in my room and study like the Majime student I am. <laughs> Not Majime at all. But my um, friend, my Japanese friend, invited me to go to a Halloween party. I didn't realize that <laughs> there's, okay, so there's something in Japan called nomikai, and it's like basically a drinking, drinking party, I guess you would say, where people go to get drunk and hang out with each other. My hair is a mess, what the heck? Nomikai. This is just a drinking party, lots of alcohol everywhere, and lots of drunk people. Yes. I didn't know at the time that my Japanese friend was going to be taking me to a nomikai <laughs> with another one of our, uh, with another one of his friends. So we all went to this Halloween party. It was on Halloween night, everyone was in costumes and stuff, and I dressed up. I didn't have anything, right? And I didn't feel like buying anything, so I dressed up as an American hipster, <laughs> complete with like long t-shirt, white t-shirt with like this long in the back, I don't know, like, what do you call it, coat kind of thing? It's very modern looking, very chic, yeah. I have my snapback, right, and I had like the white converse on, <laughs> it was so, so hipster like it was it was almost painful to wear but we I did it my friend was Harry Potter and then our other friend was um some character from an old anime I think it was really good but everyone who was at the Halloween party was dressed up and it was fantastic there was one guy who was dressed up as a giant tama tamagotchi tamaguchi one of those you know old japanese I don't know pet toys. There was this male nurse who was like so drunk, he was going around like kissing every male he could find, and there was one point where he sat next to me and he just had a cigarette in his hand and he was just like, he's like, hello. <laughs> and he was like smoking next to me and I was just like, <coughs> asthma, asthma. I don't have asthma, but like that's always my excuse for people. I just got a picture with him and then he left and I was like, thank you Jesus. There were lots of cats, of course. Surprisingly, the American soldier is very popular as a costume in Japan. Don't know why, but it is. Lots of soldiers. Of course, a few anime stars, you know, I saw some Shingeki no Kyojin characters and lots of zombies. Mm hmm lots of zombies. Ah, one guy was dressed up as Mario. Poor dude, he got so drunk. He got so drunk. He like passed out on a table and actually lost his wallet and glasses. I found his glasses for him, but like I kept saying, are you this call? Have some water, you know? <laughs> I don't drink, by the way. I do not drink. I don't do alcohol, nothing. Nope, not for me. I just don't like I just don't like alcohol. 
So the whole time while I was there, you know, everyone else is drinking around me and I'm just sober as all can be and totally coherent and just watching all these Japanese people get drunk. It was amazing. <laughs> it's quite an experience, I think. You have, if you can, go to a nomikai and just soberly watch everybody around you get absolutely wasted. And the Japanese are so funny when they're like drunk or if they're like buzzed. Like our one friend, I'll probably, mm, I don't think I'll play the video because I don't really, didn't really get his permission to post it. But there was one point where our friend was like, what, what do you call it in English when you, you know, like, you're basically drunk. And I said, oh, tipsy? And he started screaming, I'm tipsy! <laughs> I'm tipsy! Literally what he did. Eventually, you know, he learned the word drunk and he said, I'm drunk! You know? It was so funny. I have video evidence of all of this and I'm just keeping it forever on my phone because it's so beautiful. The friends I went with got really drunk and my one friend kept saying, I'm fine. I'm normal. It's just like, I don't believe you. I said, you're gonna get a hangover tomorrow morning. He's like, no, I'm strong. That's another thing. The Japanese love to use English when they're drunk. They love English when they're drunk, and it's so beautiful. Some people are more vulgar than others, so a lot of them, a few, well, a few of them, when they were talking with me, they noticed I was gaijin, so they, like, were drunk, and they started saying lots of bad, bad words, you know? The really vulgar words, and I was just like, ah, you... Where'd you learn that one, you know? <laughs> but I think it, it was one of the most satisfying. Satisfying? It was one of the most interesting and uh, funny experiences so far being in Japan, watching people get absolutely drunk. And they love each other so much. I don't think I saw one, like, really angry person. You know, people get, like, angry when they're drunk sometimes, or they get, like, down. They just, like, shut, shut down if they're really drunk. No, like, everyone there was so happy, <laughs> like, so just living it up, you know, and all hanging on to each other and hugging and just like, ah, ah, I love drunk Japanese people. And another cool thing I will note, um, the Japanese, at least from what I experienced, don't really peer pressure you into drinking or at least gaijin. I, there was a lot of people around, of course, saying like, drink, 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 you know, like, doing these chants and... Um, it's really interesting, but they don't really peer pressure you to, to buying a, a drink of alcohol or getting a drink of alcohol. Um, they won't just like get one for you and just give it to you, you know? They were, my friend was really cool about it. He's like, oh, do you want to drink? And I said, well, I'll just have a Coke because <laughs> I love Coke. I'm actually kind of addicted to Coke. So I, I had Coke instead of alcohol and it's probably a for the better. <laughs> but he was like, oh, okay. So immediately he goes and orders himself, of course, a beer and gets me a Coke. And I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But it was, it was so fun. It was just really fun. And of course, I helped both my friends back home, to, back, you know, to their house. So it was really quite an experience. And uh, if you don't drink, it's normal. Like, it's fine in Japan. If you do drink, that's also normal too. Um, <laughs> but it's a culture thing, so drinking is very much a part of the culture. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share, do whatever. If you have any video suggestions, as always, just send me a tweet or a comment below. Thanks, guys. Peace.